Hello everybody and welcome to today's drawing. Oh, it is a kind of a cloudy fall day out, but uh, it's nice. It's not too cold. It's kind of nice. I'm going to get started pretty quickly today because our drawing is so fun that I can barely wait. So I'm going to let you guys take a look in just a moment. I just want to remind you, please have a black magic marker and your colored pencils readily available. Today's drawing shouldn't be too challenging, and it probably is going to be shorter than most of our drawings. Looking to do this in around 30 or 40 minutes. So, without further ado, the very cool seasonal drawing we are going to do today is a leaf. I was looking out the window earlier today, looking for some inspiration. And it was falling from the sky. So I will just point out a few things. We're going to be doing an outline today as we usually do in our black marker. We're going to be doing a little, couple little vein lines uh, to set us up to add some color in all these different areas. Um, so yeah, um, I'll let you guys drink this in for just a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to turn to a nice, fresh, clean, white piece of paper. And as usual, I have a piece of paper behind here to keep my marker from bleeding down to the next page, because that would be a waste of a sheet of paper. Okay. So let's get started. First thing we do is find the center of our page, and how do we do that? We put our fingers on the edge and track inwards. And then we do the same from the top, tracking inwards. And we find ourselves right about here. All right, and the first line we're going to make it just above the center of the page. is pretty much going to be a straight line upwards. Uh, the good thing about drawing flowers and leaves and nature and, and stuff like that is symmetry is out the window. Now, they are similar on either side, but they are by no means exact. So have fun, stay loose, don't worry about straight lines or symmetry or anything like that today. We're just going to have some fun. So again, like I said, the first line is right from the middle of the page, almost straight up. Very casual line. I'm not trying to be pushed down too hard or make it perfectly straight. Again, in nature, there's a lot of variety. And some would say the lack of perfection makes it just perfect. Second line we're going to make very similar to this, except coming out to the side about the same length, a little bit lower and a little bit out. And it looks just like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Pretty easy, right? Okay, from here we're going to start drawing the outline of the whole leaf, okay? We're going to do this in a series of steps, and even though we're not paying too much attention to symmetry, what we do on one side, we're going to do something similar on the other side. To start, we're going to draw three points of our leaf. The top one is going to look just like this. The one on the right, not quite like that. It's going to have a, 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 a an arc line starting like this and then inwards like that. And we'll do the same thing over here, out like that and then inwards like that. Again, doesn't have to be symmetrical, 
doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and from these points here, we're going to build our outline inward up towards the middle. And again, what I do on the left, I'm going to do on the right, but it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical by any means. First one, it looks like this. All right, do the same thing over here. Not perfect, and that's okay. Next one, I'm just gonna make this a little bit longer. And like that. And again, do it over here. All right. Now this next line is a little tricky, but not too tricky. I believe in you. It's going to connect here. It's gonna dip way in and it's gonna come back up and it's gonna connect here to the other side, okay? It looks just like this. Dip way in, boop. There you go. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Maybe make this one a little, not as deep, just for variety. There we go. All right, see, already done the top of our leaf. We're gonna work our way down and around the bottom here. And again, same idea, what we do over here, we're gonna do over here. First line looks like this. And we'll do that over here too. Okay. And this next line, it's a little tricky. It's gonna be kind of like an S curve. It's gonna come down, up. And back down and stop. Down up. Beep. Okay. And we'll do the same thing over here. There we go. Alright. So for the this is this last line is gonna be the bottom of our leaf, the last little part of it where we're gonna come in towards and connect where we're gonna put the stem. This is a very tricky line, the most trickiest line in our drawing. Starting from where we finish this S-curve, we're going to turn right back around, come way out here, come back in, and we're going to have a little guy sticking out there, and then we're going to end up towards the middle. Maybe watch me and then try this yourself. I'll do the one on the right. I'll wait before I do the one on the left. Have a look now. Down, way out, and another little guy here, back towards the middle. Maybe there's a little bump. Kind of a crazy line there, tricky and technical, but I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, I kill me. Anyway, now that we've done this one, I'm going to do it on the other side too, if you're more comfortable watching and then doing it on your end. Uh, after I'm, I'm done, feel free to do so. If you want to just go ahead and get it out of the way, go for it. And I'm going to go right now. See, I made it a little different to keep it looking pretty natural. I'm not trying too hard to be exact. In fact, even though I'm making similar shapes, I'm making an effort to be asymmetrical with them. And the last thing I want to do is I'm just going to bring a stem down off this little bump I made. I think I'm going to turn it to the right, just like this, and then I'll make a little box at the bottom like that, a little square little area. I'm not going to connect it back up. I'll do that with the color. And we've cruised right through this outline, but before we put our markers away, I want to make a couple more marks. And these are just going to be, you know, approximate guidelines of where these veins might head out towards the end. I'm going to stay loose and light, and I'm not going to connect to anything. So, the first set of lines that I'm referring to, let's just make them like this. And you can see how they're kind of pointing, to, always pointing towards a point on the leaf. So I'll do the same thing on the right side, I'm a little bit away from the top here, and aim towards this point. 
very, very lightly, not taking this too far. And again, what I'm doing over here, I'm doing on the other side. Okay. A couple more. Maybe there's another one here and here. And then the last one, I'm going to point towards this, but I'm going to just kind of arc it in the other direction. couple more I'll do here and here and lastly here and here it's pretty easy wasn't it so there's our leaf outline very cool natural organic shape love it we're gonna move on to some color now here comes the fun part because I love Applying color. So before I get started, I'll give you a couple thoughts. I am going to try and incorporate all the colors of fall into my leaf. Red, orange, yellow, brown, even a little bit of green, maybe a little bit of purple. To represent all the different colors of the leaves I see outside, I'm going to try and represent all of them in one leaf. Now you don't have to do that. If you want to make a red leaf, maybe you're going to use red, orange, dark red, maybe a little purple to make your red leaf. Maybe you want to make an orange leaf and you're going to use orange and yellow and maybe a little brown. Um, that's totally up to you. But like I said, I'm going to try and use a variety of colors that I see outside all in one leaf. So, let's get started. I'm going to start with my lightest color, and because I want to use all the colors that I see outside, I'm going to start with yellow because that's my lightest color overall. So if you're going to make a green leaf, use a light green. If you're going to make a red leaf, use light red or pink. Or you can use red and just stay very, very light. I'm just going to sharpen this up real quick. Okay, and step one is just very lightly shade in the whole leaf. Very lightly. This is yellow. Or maybe it's a dark yellow or maybe kind of gold. And I'm very, very lightly going to shade in the whole guy here. Very, very lightly. Now you guys might notice I fall outside of the line sometimes. And that's okay. I'm staying loose. I'm applying color and I'm having fun. I'm not too worried about any sort of rules that say I have to stay in the, the lines. That's just not my style. Okay. Still coloring it in very lightly. All with the same color. All right, I'll bring a little bit down the stem. All right, give you guys a second to catch up. Alright, now as usual, I try to work from light to dark so that I can layer my colors. If I start dark, it's very hard to put, actually with colored pencil it's pretty much impossible to put a light color on top of a dark color without that dark color coming through a whole heck of a lot. So with colored pencils I'm really trying to work light to dark, especially in this instance. So that being said, my next color is going to be a light orange. All right, and I'm going to use my light orange to imagine where some of the depth of this leaf might be, where some of the darker areas are, where some very subtle shadows might be getting cast. My instincts are telling me that those are right along these veins. So again, stay loose and don't worry too much about any... Uh, symmetry or anything like that. In fact, now that we're applying color, symmetry is pretty much out the window. So what I color over here, maybe I want to color down here instead of having orange on it. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to start in and kind of 
Let's head right up this vein here. And maybe we're out going out towards the edge there. Do something similar here and come down like that. Again, there's no rules here. In fact, the only rule is that there are no rules. And we're applying color to this very cool leaf. Let's try and be unpredictable and unexpected. Okay. There we go. You know it's going to be really dark in there. So let's add some extra orange in there. Maybe this is coming right up the side. And let's just put a little bit up towards the tip there. And maybe it's got an orange leaf tip there. Okay, and I'm just going to add a little bit of this on the bottom, a little bit of this on the top. All right. Maybe just a little bit more right there. All right, so I'm using just sort of eyeing it to find a little bit of balance. Um, while I'm not paying attention to symmetry, I do want balance. Maybe approximately the amount of orange over here should be about the same over here so that we're balancing this guy out here. I'm going to move on from my orange. And again, working light to dark. Now I'm going to select a red, a medium red, kind of like, uh, I guess, just classic red. All right. And same idea with the orange. I want to do something similar to what I've done here. It's okay to overlap the orange a little bit, but I also want to find little areas where I can let the red be its own color. All right. So maybe there's a little bit of red here. Oh, yeah, coming down like that. There we go. And maybe there's some up here. Kind of coming down the vein there. And let's go right in here. And up here. And again, this is going to be dark in here. So let's go ahead and darken that up a bit. And maybe there's some red coming down. Uh, I looked up when I was doing a little research on my drawings today because I really don't didn't know at the time why leaves change color. Um, now it's a very scientific answer, but the 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 short answer is they're getting ready for the cold weather. So there's what's known as chlorophyll, which creates that green color, and the tree decides. When the weather starts to change, the temperature starts to drop, it's expecting snow and frost, etc. To begin, stop making chlorophyll and begin preparing its trunk and branches and roots for the winter. So that's why the leaves stop making chlorophyll, they get crispy, and they fall to the ground or onto the page that we are drawing. All right, so I'm still trying to find more opportunity for red. Maybe there's some coming down into there. Alright. So just continue to use your imagination and put in these colors wherever you feel like it, really. Um, like I said, there's no rules to the colors here. Nature is very random by nature. And uh, that's what we're trying to mimic with our drawings here, okay? All right, I think that's enough red. I'm going to move on again to something even darker. I am going to go to dark red, okay? Still moving from light to dark. I've done yellow orange, red. Now I'm going to go with some dark red and I'm going to use this to darken up some of the areas where maybe the orange and red are hitting each other and maybe where some of these veins are coming into contact with their center line. Okay, so let's just take this, darken it up in there, and in there. Maybe we'll leave that side light. A little bit of dark over here. Maybe there's some dark around the edge here. A 
it in the stem there. to get some nice contrast in here and starting to build some of that crinkling and curving that we see in leaves outside. Alrighty. Here. A little bit up here, a little bit in there. There's a lot up there. Let's just do a little bit more up in here. We can move on to our next color in just a moment. Alrighty. So we've got some dark red out the way I'm gonna kind of jump in here real quick with another fall color now maybe my leaf hasn't completely turned yet so I'm gonna grab this light light green okay I'm gonna add this in some of the areas where maybe there isn't any brown or there isn't any red so I use this color where some of this yellow is prominent uh, indicate some of the green the green part of the leaf that hasn't changed yet maybe there's some in here there's some right in there some right in there some right in there Bring a little bit of life back into this leaf so that he hasn't completely changed colors yet. Let me just sharpen this up. All right. Now, I just want to push that around a little bit more, so I'm going to grab a regular green and, and just kind of enhance those areas a little bit so get my idea of some of it not being completely changed yet across. Just adding a little extra green in areas where I put in that light green, okay? There too, right on the edge. Mmm, look at all those cool colors coming through. Love it. Okay, just put a little bit up here. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so now that I've sort of introduced some of this green, I can move away from it now and go back to my process of working from light to dark. Now, after I'm gonna, after that green, I'm gonna pick up a medium brown, uh, a little bit darker than the dark red I used earlier, so that I can really start to darken in some of these areas. I'm kind of hanging out with this color around where the veins are in order to sort of show that those are um, the deeper portions of the leaf, okay? A little bit more up here, all right. Okay, so this is feeling just a little bit light to me. 
I'm gonna actually go back up a little bit and grab my orange again. Just feel like this is missing a little bit of dark orange, or of orange, but I'm gonna push down a little bit harder, okay? Whoops. So I'm just going to use this to kind of darken up some of these areas a little bit here just to make sure it doesn't look too light. Mm, that works nicely. There we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. I like the way that looks now. Let's give it a little bit more of that orange out here. Here. Nice. All right. All right. Very good. Great job. So I think that's uh, looking pretty good. Nice fall leaf, tons of color, and looks very organic, very natural, a little bit random, but nice. Okay, so before I wrap up, I am going to grab black, like we usually do. We usually finish with black or a dark color. In fact, you know what? Instead of black, I'm going to actually use dark, dark purple. I think that just might help make my yellows and oranges pop a little bit more, okay? And feel free to use black if you like, but I think purple should work pretty good here. I'm going to draw like an X right here, okay? Just, so that's sort of like where everything connects. Draw a few more veins, and some lines here, you can even draw them coming off these ones if you want and there we go I'll use this just a little bit of shade alright alright and there you have it we I've drawn a cool fall leaf today. Alrighty. Alright, guys. Well, thanks as always for joining me today. And thanks for hanging in there and drawing this very fun fall leaf. I will be seeing you next week. In the meantime, have fun. And be nice to everyone you meet. Don't forget to sign your work. C-H-R-I-S. And please upload your photos or your drawings, pictures of your drawings. I would really love to see them. Uh, it helps me to understand the participation level here and the level of everybody's drawing skills so that I can sort of cater what we are doing to um, everybody's style or or skill level, or uniqueness. So, uh, yeah, have a wonderful, beautiful fall day. Enjoy your afternoon. And, uh, yeah, sign your work. <laughs> See you later, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.